So what's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be enabling our redmi note 3 for project travel now this video will actually require a bit of a knowledge of installing a custom rom and just a unlock bootloader redmi note 3 well as you can see right now i'm running over here and ported version of miui 10 android 7.0 nougat and as i told you in my china alpha review that we would be seeing a new ui on this friday well this friday a global beta released 8.7.26 which is the today's date and all the devices got update but just not Kenzo yes just not Redmi Note 3 got a build of MIUI 10 that is actually a bit worrying that Xiaomi kind of promised us a Friday build but there is no build for Redmi Note 3 and even Redmi 3s got a build well it was the same condition with the Redmi 3 3s also had an older UI with global beta as I have heard and it also received the newer UI so we would be seeing a newer UI on the Redmi Note 3 in upcoming global beta so that is a very nice thing if you want more info on that please subscribe down there and turn on bell notifications for the community tabs too and let's just begin so what is project travel so basically after android oreo google started this thing where in order to make a rom you will need the device trees and the actual rom sources well the travel makes it much more easier that the device trees will be just now in the phone in the vendor folder yes and the rom will be just made for a generic system image a gsi which would be flashing today and there could be also a dssi a device specific system image such as one ported from pixel xl android p but that's just not working as if right now on our redmi note 3 i would be making a separate video on that once it becomes available as if right now you can only flash normal travel rom so we would be flashing over here today dot os 2.4 which is same like android p it gives you all the features such as the volume panel too so let's just begin First of all, power off your phone and go to the recovery, shut down. Now, once we are in the recovery, you have to actually flash a treble supported recovery. Now, this is pretty similar as to Redmi Note 4 and Note 5, where it just converts the cust folder into a vendor. Now, cust folder is used by Xiaomi to just uh, chuck in all the apps which are not needed at all by MIUI, but still we get it just like Samsung and that would be no modified. So for that, you have to install a recovery. So go to install, select install image, select the recovery, recovery. Confirm to flash. There you go. The recovery is now finally treble supported. Reboot. Recovery. Once we are into the recovery again, you have to go to wipe. Advanced wipe. Dalvik system. And there you go. There is the vendor. Your cost has been disappeared now. Vendor. Data. Cache. Now as per my info, you can actually flash your normal MIUI ROMs through here. But I just don't recommend it. You must be using a ZCX to up recovery in order to flash your official MIUI ROMs. Otherwise, if you are running a Mi Max ported ROM, you are just okay. As if me. So swipe to wipe. There you go, everything has been wiped. Go to mount and there you go, vendor is already mounted. Now we have to actually install a treble supported ROM. Now unlike Redmi Note 5 Pro where you can just flash a vendor IMG or even on MIA1, we just have to right now flash a treble supported ROM cause there is no voltage or specific features which will affect the ROM or just don't need a specific vendor. So we'll just flash Lineage 15.1, a treble supported one, links in the description. Confirm to flash. Now this will patch the system and the vendor too. There you go. Now we don't have to reboot system cause we don't need lineage os we have to actually install a treble rom now so let's just go to wipe again advanced wipe system swipe to wipe and there you go now our phone is just treble ready then we have to again go to install install image and then find your treble rom now as it's a normal redmi phone it will only support a only roms yes you can't actually flash a ab rom which is just a nightmare so you don't want to even do that you have to actually find system a only gsh for our redmi note 3 so that's pretty easy dot os select system image and pretty good thing about this recovery you can flash modem boot logo boot recovery vendor image like literally not even the redmi note 5 supports this kind of functionality on its recovery this is pretty amazing work by the developer so confirm to flash there you go the system image has been installed reboot system and now we will successfully boot into a gsi and the phone is back up in just eight seconds yes the snapdragon 650 is that mad fast now there is no setup that's why it was too fast but as you can see there is an internal problem with your phone it's just a gsi mismatch error which would be fixed in the later updates but let's just control the brightness there you go it just looks pretty much like android p i mean the animations are now also fixed so it looks much more polished than before again we have volume panel and stuff from android p pretty cool it gives you feel of miui 10 cause the android p1 doesn't really work like this but amazing work by dot os team and then again let's just take a look around the rom so go to the settings as you can see even over here just android p everywhere we will just adjust the display quickly cause it's, it's just way too zoomed in for me display size now the weird part is the navbar backlit wouldn't work it just doesn't work on any kind of travel rom that i have actually used even for redmi note 4 like even on mi12 but yeah 
just works flawless and there is also no performance hiccups as you can see if you're wondering it's running off a vendor it just works like your normal rom so let's just go to system you also have dotos ota which i don't know whether works on gsis or not but it's pretty easy that's one of the things of treble you would get a gsi and it would update all the phones so there is no delay or just make it for every single phone you can just flash a gsi and it just works on all the phones so go to about phone as you can see dotos 2.4 very beautifully designed like literally look at this os and also it's completely indian os information as you can see dot treble because it's running off a vendor not from system and that's pretty much it that's how you install project treble on your redmi note 3 i hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful if you want more redmi note 3 videos like this please subscribe down there and i would be making an updated video on global beta just a follow-up so be sure to check that and see you in the next one peace